You're an interesting man, Mr. Scamander. Just like your suitcase, I think there's much more to you than meets the eye. Guys, thank you so much for your time and congratulations for the movie. Thank Visually you. Visually fun, a huge adventure, so I it was a blast. How cool was shoot a New York movie in London? It was so surreal for me because we, I would get in my car in the morning, my driver was English, I'd get to set, hair and makeup, everybody's got English accents, everybody on set is English, and then we walk on to set, start shooting the scene, and some guy would be like, hey, how you doing? Hey, get out of the way. <laughs> and it was like, to hear that New York accent that I you know, grew up with and know well, transplanted to the UK was really funny and, and wonderful. For yeah. me, I was secretly hoping my wife and I love New York City itself. And when I read the script, we were so excited at the prospect of coming and shooting it here. And then I was like, no, it's shooting 20 minutes outside of London in Watford. <laughs> so it was a, a, a gentle disappointment that we got over. <laughs> But you know, I was in a set visit for King Arthur, who watched in front, yeah. and I saw your set, and I can't believe how massive, how detailed it was. So. You know, I totally forgot about that, and I'm glad you reminded me, because that was one of the things that was most surreal and bizarre about shooting in Watford at, at Leveson Studios, and really made me feel like it was 1955, old Hollywood, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. golden age backlot stuff, because you'd see these like great art deco buildings, as far as the eye could see, elevated yeah. trains and Model T Fords, and everything, and then in the distant background, <laughs> you could see King Arthur's castle, <laughs> and it just felt like that. Oh, right, back back when movies were like these big yeah. playgrounds. That is delightful. good that we are going back to the traditional way because, in some way, digital take over, and now we're going back to the practical. Yeah, yes, I and hope you, so. there's something is lost in the digital, you know, like the, just the texture and and something that just feels real because it is real. And yeah. I love. That. Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case. A case full of magical creatures. And unfortunately, some have escaped. Which is your favorite fantastic creature from the whole movie? It's such a tough question, that, because I feel like... Do you like, feel like they're all listening when you I answer do, this? I do, I feel like <laughs> Judas, if I start sort of naming one of them. Probably Pickett. Between Pickett and the Niffler. The Niffler is more, it's a more complicated relationship, because the Niffler's obsessed with shiny things and basically just is a complete nightmare, but kind of pick, uh, loves and hates him in equal measure. Pickett is just has a little stick insect who chills in his top pocket and has attachment issues. Wait a minute. That's a boat. That's a boat truckle, right? No. Oh, come on. We got a, a, a new section we call how to. So I need I ask you to you give me some like tips of okay. how to give life a wizard. How do, oh, interesting. Um, well, the interesting thing about wizards is they appear p completely normal. So you've got to sort of figure out how to act normal. <laughs> act normal, which, which is, is not easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then I would work on your wand work because that looks easy, but is weirdly more complicated than it feels. Yeah. Although for some reason I think that journalists have a gift for wand work because they keep coming on and saying, "Can you teach me how to use my wand?" And they. They, they do some like, really authoritative. Like, oh gosh, man, you're better at this than me. <laughs> yes, well, I'm totally clumsy with the wand, with the lightsaber, everything I'm dropping. Yeah. It's <laughs> not for me. So, guys, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Thank and you. Thank you. Well, we can wait for more. So, cool. thank, thank, thank you. Thank you.